comedian is wrong. What is it called? <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay, well. Good start. So, I'm Sila, and this is Sheridan. Sheridan. We decided we were going to do a video blog, because not enough people know us. More people should. More people should. So we were like, let's do a video blog. Then we didn't know what to talk about. We're roommates, just in case that wasn't clear. Um, we decided upon the topic of narwhals. I'm not sure if you know what a narwhal is, but if you don't, you grab ours. Sheridan's gonna grab you our action figure model oh, no, stuck. of an oh, because we taped We like to mounted it. him on our wall. It's pretty great, actually. But so we got a later. There he is. Here, put it next to the camera so everybody can see. Look it. That's a narwhal right there. Narwhal. Sheridan, tell him about the narwhal. This is the narwhal. They live near Greenland. And, um,. They're like a whale. It's like a whale with a horn coming out of its face. Um, the horn is actually a tooth. They're not really sure what it does, but we're pretty sure it's magic. Um, their horn's about, what, like six to eight feet long? It says it is about nine. Nine, okay, even longer. Nine feet, that's a long horn. And I think they're endangered. There's they not are. many left. I think they're quite endangered. Because people used to hunt them for, their, for horns. their horns because they thought that they were magical and caused a lot of good luck, which is probably true. But mm -hmm. still, I mean, it's no need to exterminate yeah, the entire species. Yeah, because they're beautiful. Second day, we had a big, like, dorm meeting down in Free Meth. Um, <laughs> that's the first Free <laughs> Methodist church. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. Now you know, and she knows. This is good. Free meth. And someone quoted a verse that had a unicorn in it, and I don't know what verse happened. From the Bible. The, oh, yeah, from the Bible. The cross. Um, and uh, I just remember looking at Sheridan, and we didn't listen to the rest of whatever they were like telling us what we can and can't have in the room. Like, uh, we, we already break do. all those rules of English. So, oops. So, well, it's okay because we were Googling unicorns and their existence, and apparently they're mentioned in the Bible, like, freaking... They live in Africa, perhaps? We're thinking maybe related to the, um, like a rhinoceros horn? Oh, yeah. Who knows? I, they don't know, but apparently there's like six references in the Bible cave drawings. to something that seems like a unicorn. Long story short, we got from a unicorn to a narwhal, which and are real. Totally real. They live primarily in the waters of Canadian Arctic and Greenland. Almost in my homeland of Alaska. Except on the other side. That's Except okay. For, it's still the Arctic Circle. I mean, you're great. Right. Yeah. So close. Uh, fun fact. Okay, um... Narwhals can conserve oxygen in on a deep dive by shutting off blood flow to non-vital body parts. My question being, what is an example <laughs> of a non-vital body part? Sheridan, AMP Scientist of the Year. Let me think. Um, maybe the liver sometimes. Um, maybe... Like... The appendix and like I don't know. I feel like if it's in my body, it's probably vital. It does some things, but I mean, you can take out your appendix and be okay. They're not exactly sure what it does, so we're not Wisdom sure. Wisdom teeth. Okay. You don't need blood flow there. Some of your tonsils. Um. You know, like spleen maybe sometimes. Like you're deep sea don't diving. Don't you need everything? My like, question is like, do they know they're up. turning it off? Like. Hmm, let me it think about this. Let me turn off. Yeah, it must be involuntary. Narwhals vocalize with a series of underwater clicks and whistles that sometimes take on the tune of Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. So we tried to find a YouTube video of this and failed. So I'm not completely sure if it's true, but not I convinced. really hope so. 
it's probably right up there with number six. Scientists have, scientists have yet to figure out the exact purpose of the Narwhal's horn, but they're pretty sure that it's magic. So that's probably going in the same category of really a good chance that it's true, but we don't have a whole lot of proof. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Do you believe the fairy tale? Do you believe reality? You know? I don't know. Narwhals, narwhals, swimming in the ocean, causing a commotion, cause they are so awesome. Narwhals, narwhals, swimming in the ocean, pretty big and pretty wide and beat up all the bad and the fire. Looking underwater unicorn, they've got a kick out facial harm and a Jedi of the sea. The unicorn of the sea!